Hello, I'm A.C. Wharton, mayor of our great city, Memphis, Tennessee. Let me get right into what I want to talk with you about. Here lately, we've heard so much talk about gun violence and what we need to do. Most of the attentions have been focused on Washington because of the valiant efforts of our great president to do something about gun violence. And I'm going to support him 100% on his efforts. But in the meantime, right here at home, not in Colorado, where those tragic events occurred, not in Newtown, where those unspeakable events occurred, but at the same time, not in Washington and not in those places, right here in our city, for which I am responsible and for which you are responsible, whether you have children or not. Every weekend, instead of our police director calling me to tell me about the ball scores, I get on Sunday night a body count. Not 48-year-olds, not 60-year-olds, but 14, 15, 16, 17, and not too long ago, four years old, yes, four-year-olds. Not gunned down by an assault rifle, which quite frankly have no place in civilized society. But right here in Memphis, Tennessee, gunned down, lives snuffed out at a tender age, right here in our streets. The streets where grandmothers ought to be able to walk to the corner store, or to go visit a neighbor, or where grandma and mother and grandpa ought to be able to work in the yard, sit on the front porch, where children ought to be able to, they're not supposed to do it, but children are, they ought to be able to every once in a while, if they want to, sort of play in the street. But they can't do it for fear that right here in our city, somebody, in many instances with a stolen gun, is there having no regard whatsoever for human life, regardless of age, regardless of station in life, having no regard, fires that pistol and takes a life of one of our precious children. Not in Newtown, but in Boxtown. Not in Westside, California, but in Westwood, Memphis, Tennessee. Not in Boston, Massachusetts, but in Burklare, Memphis, Tennessee. Isn't it time that we all said enough is enough? I'll repeat it. Enough is enough. That's where I am right now. I think you're there too. No more delays. No more excuses. No more waiting on Washington. No more waiting on the state. But let's just say, put the guns down. And that's why I'm asking you to join me in supporting our initiative, the Gun Down Initiative. Enough is enough. Let's save lives, young lives, right here in our city. Please join me. Enough is enough. Let me make one thing clear. Some may say, is he talking about just lock them up no matter what a tough time they have had when they get caught with these guns and things. No, this is much more than blue lights, handcuffs, pistols, and lock them up. We've got a very comprehensive program. We're getting our young folks involved, asking them to help us reach their colleagues, reach their friends, their classmates, their neighbors, their brothers, their sisters. We'll have mentoring programs. We'll have summer lunch programs. We'll have counseling. We're going to have everything. We're going to get them ready for jobs. But in order for that to work, we've got to take back our streets because we can't go out and do the peaceful thing until there's a peaceful place in which to do the peaceful thing. Yes, it is comprehensive. We're going to extend an olive branch to every person who might have just the slightest, slightest 
thought about, I'm going to get a gun. We're going to try to get to them before they get a gun and use a gun. But for those who, for whatever reason, maybe, may, maybe we have already lost them. We're going to get with our police director and our fine men and women on our police department. And we're going to be there to help you take back, take back your streets. Because again, enough is enough. I'm asking you and your church to help us in the following three ways. First, share a list of your church's activities that are targeting young people. I'm sure many of you are already doing things, but let other folks know what you're doing. Secondly, I want you to organize activities such as prayer walks, block parties, or community meetings when violence does occur in our city. If you want us to come out and help you do that, we're standing by. And finally, spread the word about the Memphis Gun Down campaign throughout your congregation, your neighborhood, and your community. With your prayers and with your faith in action, we can and will make a difference. Enough.